next, I'd like to recognize uh, the administrator uh, of NASA, uh, Jim Bridenstine, who has become a, a, a great friend of mine. Uh, he is a great champion for American leadership in space. Uh, he, is a, uh, he was given a charge by the President of the United States uh, to uh, return Americans to the moon by 2024 and, uh, and make sure the first uh, astronauts on Mars are Americans. And uh, 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 Jim, I, I know I speak on behalf of the President when I appreciate the energy you've brought to this effort. Uh, we should not be terribly surprised that a Navy F-18 pilot uh, was ready to move out uh, and move out quickly. Uh, but join me in thanking the administrator of NASA for his tremendous efforts. And Jim, uh, look forward to your report to the Space Council. Thank you so much, Mr. Vice President. Uh, it is an honor to serve in this position. Uh, just yesterday, I was at the White House briefing members of the National Security Council on our plans to go to the moon and on to Mars. And while I was there, Victoria Coates brought in a box of M&Ms. And I said, and by the way, these aren't just m and These are President Trump M&Ms, uh, not just any M&Ms here. And I said, now, what, what is that all about? And she said, M and M, Moon and Mars. <laughs> and so she said, make sure you show this to everybody and let them know we're going to the moon because we are going to Mars. And the president has been very clear. That's we cool. will put an American flag on Mars. So Mr. Vice President, you can have the M&M's. <laughs> um, a couple of things that I think are important to note, sir, since you um, so, uh, I guess, importantly gave us that charge back in March, a number of things have changed. Um, and, and I'll just uh, kind of go through one at a time. Uh, as you mentioned earlier today, low Earth orbit. That is a great opportunity for us to figure out how to do things commercially. Uh, we have commercial crew uh, on the brink of being ready. We have commercial resupply, already resupplying the International Space Station. And recently we announced that we have some objectives um, to achieve a more commercial nature in low Earth orbit, starting with creating both the demand side and the supply side. So on the demand side, we're looking at really two lines of effort that we believe could have major breakthroughs for basically activities in low Earth orbit, starting with industrialized biomedicine and then advanced materials. Those two lines of effort, if we can do experiment after experiment, iterating one after another, I believe in the next three to seven years, we can have a strong breakthrough that will result in demand for access to low Earth orbit. Now that's going to take an effort and a change of philosophy on how we utilize the International Space Station. It is also true, Mr. Vice President, that just a few short months ago we announced that we're doing things to increase supply of activities in low Earth orbit. Um, we are going to make available commercial crew seats for industry so that they can take uh, space, um, whether it's researchers or manufacturers or even tourists uh, to the International Space Station. We also um, want to make the International Space Station itself available for more people, so we're looking at additional habitation using the port for commercial operations on the International Space Station. Um, and each of these activities will increase supply while at the same time working really hard to generate demand with an eventual effort. Um, and of course, we've got procurements underway that, that we are interested in, in seeing what industry can provide, but we want to have free flyers in low Earth orbit that are commercial in nature. So these are things that we are striving to in low Earth orbit. But remember why we are commercializing, and I think this is important for everybody on the National Space Council. Why are we commercializing? Because we want to use the resources that the taxpayers give to us to go to the moon, following Space Policy Directive 1 to go sustainably to go with commercial partners and international partners to utilize the resources on the moon, the water ice, Mr. Vice President, that you talked about on the South Pole. Use that as life support. How do we live for months on another planetary body so that ultimately we can take all of that knowledge onto Mars? So what we do in low Earth or orbit matters because we want to go to the moon and onto Mars. And interestingly, just last week, I was at the Michoud Assembly Facility in New Orleans. And I know, Mr. Vice President, you have been keenly focused on the SLS rocket. Um, and I will tell you what I saw there was eye-watering. 
Um, it, uh, you know, we, we say the words that it's four-fifths complete. I would say that it's well over 90% complete at this point. The engine section was the long pole in the tent. It was on the critical path. We removed the engine section from the critical path. We integrated the rest of the rocket horizontally. Uh, it, it is a beautiful thing to see in the horizontal. And this week and next week, we will be integrating the engine section into the rest of the rocket. And by the end of this year, as you correctly said earlier, uh, we're going to move that rocket out of the factory and we're going to test it. And I will tell you, <laughs> yes. So these are, it was, it was exciting to see that. And I will tell you, Mr. Vice President, not just the first SLS, but the hardware for the second SLS is already being put into place and will start to be assembled very soon as well. So very exciting times down at the Mishu assembly facility. Um, and as you were there just last month, Mr. Vice President, when you announced the Orion crew capsule complete with the European service module, um, we are very close to shipping that up to uh, Plumbrook station where it will be tested, thermal vacuum testing as well as EMI testing. So all of those very exciting activities um, are underway. We also, since the last National Space Council, we have gone under contract for the first element of the gateway, the power and propulsion element, solar electric propulsion for that reusable command module in orbit around the moon for the next 15 years. Uh, so that's a great development as well. And by the way, the reason that was able to go so fast, Mr. Vice President, is because of the charge to be ready by 2024 to land not just the next man, but also the first woman on the South Pole of the Moon. That charge is really what changed the dynamic to make that go so fast, that acquisition element. On that gateway, we're, we're moving as fast as we can, rapid acquisition of what we call a mini-hab, just a small habitation module attached to the power and propulsion element. That's not the long-term solution, but that's what's going to help us get our astronauts from the Orion into a lander and land on the surface of the Moon. We not last week we announced that that lander that I'm talking about is going to be managed um, out of the Marshall Space Flight Center. And it is absolutely true, Mr. Vice President, the Johnson Space Center is going to be very involved in that. Um, certainly when it comes to environmental control and life support systems, there is no place on the planet better than the Johnson Space Center. When it comes to human to machine interface, no place better than Johnson as well. Um, and of course, when it comes to mission planning in the astronaut office, a lot of capability, both at Marshall and at Johnson, um, to get this national project underway. And, and as you are aware, Mr. Vice President, um, in the last months since the March National Space Council, we also uh, named the program Artemis. And I think that is a significant milestone. It was, <laughs> it was you who wrote the speech yourself, and I was there when you did it, and you said, we're going to put the first woman on the moon. And, uh, and I will tell you, that has energized so many people, my daughter included, who is 11 years old. She claims she wants to be a teacher right now, but she is certainly excited about landing a, a woman on the moon. And I like to say it's, it, it's um, you know, 50 years ago we had Apollo. <laughs> and it just so happens that in Greek mythology, Apollo had a twin sister. Her name was Artemis. She was the goddess of the moon. And this time when we go to the moon, we go with the very diverse highly qualified astronaut corps that includes women, and it is long overdue. So we are very excited about that. Well said. Well said. And then lastly, I, I think it's important to remember uh, the, 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 the moon to Mars. Um, when we think about what we're doing next, the reason the gateway is so important is that it is absolutely a gateway to the surface of the moon and we want to do long durations on the surface of the moon using the gateway. It is also evolvable. It is, a, it is an opportunity for us to take humans deeper into space than we've ever gone before in human history and in fact that is our ship to get to Mars. And by the way, if we have the right investments today with um, advanced propulsion I know we're going to hear maybe a little bit about nuclear thermal propulsion, mm -hmm. about advanced propulsion and the ability to do entry, descent, and landing with you know, 20 metric ton payloads into the Martian atmosphere and onto the Martian surface. Um, these are investments that uh, are not much more than what we're already spending, and we can put together a really robust 
Mars plan in keeping with the direction to put an American flag on Mars. So Mr. Vice President, things have changed since March um, and we are moving rapidly under your direction and the direction of President Trump. Thank you. Uh, th thank you. Thank you very much, Jim. Thanks for that uh, great report, and uh, uh, and and mostly thanks for your energetic uh, and enthusiastic uh, leadership of the president's vision uh, for space. Uh, and I'm I'm going to take this box of M and M's back to the president right after you sign it. Uh, <laughs> he'll know he'll know even better today that you got the message. 